Hello and welcome to this mega virtual conference presented by People Matters and Kika. I'm going to be your host, Pallavi. Whether you are an HR professional or a CXO or an SME leader, you have all witnessed how HR has evolved in the last few decades. And today we have gathered here to celebrate and deliberate the emerging role of HR in enhancing business performance. In this virtual conference, we will find out the reasons why we need to relook at the role of HR as a thinking partner and more importantly, find ways to help HR in emerging enterprises to become agents of change. We have curated more than two and a half hours of learning featuring industry experts and top HR leaders to bring to you winning strategies and in-depth insights that can help HR professionals elevate and transform into business partners. To kick off this virtual conference, I would like to first thank our partner Kika for making this possible. Founded by Vijay Yelamanchali in 2015, Kika has been a silent revolution of sorts in the making and today is one of the leading HR tech platforms in India for SMEs. Kika was conceived with a mission to create an awesome employee experience by dumping clunky interfaces and offering easy and simple software solutions. From automation of people processes to creating an engaged and driven culture, Kika has everything businesses need to build a good to great company. Today in this virtual conference, we have a huge lineup of insightful conversations, expert keynotes, and some market leading case studies throughout the day just for you. This virtual conference is also your chance to join the networking zone and grab a table to start a conversation with our peer group members. And in line with our efforts to support young and fast growing businesses as part of our SME Corner Initiative, People Matters and KK are extremely excited to unveil our exhaustive report, which is Emerging HR Trends Atlas, enabling strategic change for growth in partnership with KK. This report captures the voices of more than 400 HR leaders and will equip emerging HR with the right insights and perspectives to help you decode the best strategies to accelerate HR impact and enable you to scale in this evolving and complex business landscape. The trends and the insights that have been captured in the Emerging HR Trends Atlas reflect a maturing landscape where investing in the right tools and building the right capabilities to empower HR are the key drivers of growth. If you look at some top findings of this report, it reflects that today employee experience and engagement remain important talent areas uh, that companies want to improve through HR tech. In fact, every eight in 10 companies believe that HR tech today is crucial to drive employee experience, address their recruitment and skill demands, and also improve performance management capabilities. We also found in this exhaustive report that the majority of the companies surveyed, approximately which uh, comprised of 75%, considered success in the HR process was dependent on how employee-driven their policies were. Every seven in 10 companies said that employees are core to their talent development strategies. The report further explored the role of HR tech as a critical driver of change and future investments to HR tech reflect the growing nature of strategic chains that emerging HR today envision. If you look at some of the data points, around 57% of the companies aim to raise their HR tech investments to increase productivity and empower employees and managers to align better with their business goals. One of the interesting uh, insights that came about in this report also says that around six in 10 HR leaders in, want to improve employee experience and engaging employees better and consider this as a core focus area in enhancing their HR effectiveness. If you are thrilled to know more about this report, about the trends, insights, and perspectives from HR leaders and how they're shaping up future ready talent strategies, you can also grab a copy of this report by a very simple step. Just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen. So what are you waiting for? Download the report now. It's that easy. The QR code is on your screen. You can scan it and get your own exclusive copy of this emerging HR Trends Atlas on your own. Well, this was some of the key highlights captured in this report. The report has much more to it, much more depth to it. And with this, let's now start to invite our very first speaker of the day. We have with us today, Shitaj Sachan, Process Coach, Performance Management, Kika. 
Thank you so much, Shitej, for taking out the time to join us on behalf of Keka and to share your thoughts on how emerging companies can like leverage technology to enable their HR leaders become better decision makers, which actually forms the core of our research report on emerging HR trends at list, uh, which actually can act as a guidebook for HR leaders in SMEs to help them become the answer for their business challenges. Thank you so much. Thanks. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Well, Shitesh, to begin, I'll, I'll shoot the first question. Uh, if I talk about this report, the Emerging HR Trends Atlas, which People Madan Kika has brought about together, this explores the capabilities and the mindset shift which HR, especially if you talk in the SME scenario, requires to transform itself. So I want to know from you what, according to you, are the technology gaps that exist which HR leaders should really pay attention to? Right. So on this, uh, Pallavi, if you look at it, like today uh, in the emerging era of, of HR, um, you know, HR is at the, at the forefront of the change. Uh, you know, they are the first respondents to any kind of, uh, you know, branding that an organization sees. So there is a call for more strategic interventions for HR leaders to lead the change, uh, you know, and their CEOs are, uh, you know, are the ones who really want to see that happen. So this report uh, should ideally help, uh, you know, these HR professionals to, to explore out those dimensions um, and have a clarity on what what works and what doesn't. So, <clears throat> another aspect which which I, which I I would like to bring here is the EX, right? So, employee experience is something that we have been, uh, you know, it, it started emphasizing post COVID era, right? So, as soon as um, COVID happened, everybody needed a personal touch to make sure you know they stay connected to the purpose, uh, mission, and vision of the organization. So, uh, a strong culture, retention of top employees, these are all critical parameters for any workplace. You, know, you cannot make a workplace with a dynamic flux of uh, people coming in and you know uh, moving out uh, just because they, they, they don't see the sense of purpose in it. So, uh, again, these research studies is more about helping you understand that how uh, you know these paradigm shifts are happening how these people are evolving to the new uh, age practices and what is the set of expectations that that these uh, millennials and Gen, uh, Gen Zs have uh, to make sure you can align them better with the business. Well, absolutely. And also this brings me to the question that what can be some of the problem areas, you know, if I may call them as threats to HR's ability to support business growth in you know, the coming year or maybe in the future as well. So what are some of the areas that you feel could be a threat? Well, what I would like to emphasize upon is the usage of HR tech, right? Um, you know, we uh, we pretty much started KK somewhere close to 2015. And ever since, you know, we have seen a sharp rise of uh, usage of technology to manage the uh, set of work that happens in a workplace. Uh, why so? Because, uh, you know, we're moving to an era where it's not basically... You know, we don't operate workplaces out of uh, fuzzy thinking. You know, it's more analytical, more data-driven approach. So to establish that data-driven approach, you have to establish those data receptors, the technology, which can actually capture these uh, important uh, critical metrics of people and help them become better, be more. You know, that's the true definition of, of uh, you know, of tech. So that's one, um, you know, I think inefficient use of HR tech and driving the right results through digital adoption is, um, is the biggest threat uh, today. Um, the other aspect I think is, uh, you know, if you look at it, eight in 10 companies state that HR tech is crucial to drive EX. Um, you know, why so? Because, um, you know, if, if you do not use a technology, if you don't have a platform, your communication will always be all over the place. So having a standard way of communicating with people where they can very easily connect, uh, you know, with, with a certain pattern, there is an emotional design to everything, uh, you know, that, that people do today. So tapping into that emotional design in your HR process and making sure that people are comfortable with the sort of communication, making it more predictable for them uh, to make sure, uh, you know, they feel convenient while, while these communications happen. So these are, um, uh, you know, th these were the big threats that I see. Um, if I would like to add here, I think... You know, another aspect, right? 75% of the companies say that uh, employees are core to their talent development strategies, right? Uh, I don't know why 25% don't say it, uh, but, uh, you know, it is something which is uh, which is part of the era today. You know, you've got to constantly develop people, constantly make them more and still, uh, you know, keep them fulfilled in terms of what, what they have achieved uh, into the workplace. So these are some of the aspects, um, you know, which I think are the threat. 
Well, thank you for sharing those. And also, if you could also highlight some of the significant changes, uh, you know, that HR can in, in emerging companies, especially can bring to the table to deliver best results. You also see so some of the key highlights that the report has gathered. What what have you gathered or observed? Uh, significant changes that HR can uh, uh, bring to the table. Well, there are so many, actually. So, uh, you know, the way I look at it, uh, as soon as HR moves out of the mundane tasks that they have to do every day, you know, it's more about uh, preparing those excels. Uh, you know, if you look at SME as a, as a segment, right, uh, we're still struggling with standard softwares in place. You know, uh, the, the most of the data is over in Excel, and that is something which, uh, which needs to be changed immediately because, uh, you know, you present an Excel to somebody, they, you know, it does not tell any kind of story. Uh, you know, it's hard for anybody to take an, uh, you know, to pull out an actionable item out of it. So from that standpoint, that needs to change. Uh, you know, that is one significant change required. Uh, for emerging HRs to be successful in delivering talent results, it is important to build more employee-centric processes, uh, keeping people in center, people's aspiration in center. You know, and, uh, you know, I commonly use this example. I would like to bring that up again. If you look at, uh, the purpose of a workplace, um, you know, no matter what kind of business it is, um, you know, it could be it could be a very simple business with a very simple purpose of delivering a pizza to a very complex purpose of colonizing the mass. But every business would have a sense of purpose uh, towards the community, towards the people. Uh, while if you look at people when they come to workplace, they also have certain uh, aspirations. You know, some want to learn, some want to grow, some want to make money, right? Some want to find sustenance. Now. When you look at it, like there is always a misalignment of what people need and what the organization expects, uh, you know, what their desires is. So uh, bridging this gap, making sure, you know, there is there is um, a, a sense of belongingness, a psychological safety for people to uh, slowly, move, you know, come to that vision itself, you know, where their vision should align with the organization vision is something which 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 is becoming critical and it is uh, a significant change required. Um, other than that. Uh, success in the HR process is dependent on how employee-driven uh, they are. You know, seven in ten companies say that employees are core to their talent development strategies. So uh, this is another aspect you have to keep in mind. Well, uh, thank you for all those thoughts. But interestingly, is was there anything that sort of came as a surprise to you when you were looking at the you know the findings of the report? And also, I want to bring your attention on the importance of HR tech, which actually formed the core of the entire research report. So, if I were to ask you two things, that you know, how can companies today leverage HR tech solutions in a better way to drive the desired talent results? And also, anything that surprise element, if you want to add something there. Should. All right. So if, 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 I, if I look at it, uh, future investments into HR tech reflect the growing nature of strategic change. Uh, emerging HR envisions, according to the report findings, 50% aim to raise their HR tech investments to raise productivity and empower employees. Now, uh, you know, this is something which is required to align your managers with the business goals. Uh, so this is, uh, this is something which I found really interesting because, uh, you know, I, I, I have been in that era where performance used to be more static. Uh, you know, beginning of the year goal setting and then by the end of the year evaluation of people. Now uh, it's becoming more dynamic. Uh, it's becoming converting into a dialogue that it ideally should be uh, in the first place. So this is something which was an interesting find for me, Pallavi. Great, great. Any any thoughts on, uh, you know, the, the crux of the report, you know, anything? That, because it said that majority of the companies, they do believe that, you know, if they don't really utilize... HR tech solutions, they might be left behind. So, you know, any thoughts around that before we continue the conversation? Yeah, well, all, all my thoughts are that only, actually. <laughs> so, um, as a conclusion, I would not want to, uh, you know, the world has changed. Uh, the way audience consumes uh, content is that if, we, if they get a high level pointers of it, they really don't want to go in depth. So uh, I'm not going to bring up any more information from the reports here, but, uh, you know, for all the audiences, uh, you know, whoever are listening, uh, this is going to be an amazing uh, read. So, you know, uh, you can go about doing that. Well, amazing to talk to you, Shitej, and knowing all the thoughts uh, around the report as well as the overall scenario uh, in uh, the HR space. Thank you so much. And for our audiences, just a quick reminder that if you also want to grab a copy of this report, it's so easy. You can just 
uh, scan the QR code which we showed a while ago. We also have links to the report. You can download the report and get your own copy. We did share top insights of the report. We also shared, you know, little thoughts around uh, what could be the possible threats for the community and what are the areas that really needs to look upon. I think it was wonderful talking to you, Shitesh. Thank you so much for your time once again. Thank you, Pallavi. Always a pleasure. Have a good day. Thank you so much. We have much more lined up in the coming sessions and in this conversation. If this conversation really made you curious, then, you know, it's just so easy to get the hold of that emerging HR Trends Atlas report by People Matters in Kika. Um, as I just said, all you have to do is to scan the QR code, which we showed in the screen, and you could... Uh, if you could see the links there uh, on the chat section as well, you can uh, click on that link get the, and download the copy now. We have just begun the conference. There is a lot more to learn about in today's virtual conference. Coming up next after this session is a special keynote address by Chandrakant Salunke, who's the founder and president of SME Chamber of India, who spoke to People Matters exclusively. So do stay tuned in and do not go anywhere. We'll see you on the other side very, very soon. Also, you can uh, post the social updates. Just use the hashtag SME Corner. You can check out the updates on our social media handles and get all the updates for the entire session. We do have lined up a lot of panels and keynotes and a fireside chat exclusively for you in this virtual session.